This is my first fuel up in Clarksville, Arkansas. Went 410.6 miles on the uh, tank of fuel. Let's see, the receipt shows $2.659 a gallon, $78.67. Let's do the math on this. So it was uh, 410.6 gallons divided by 29. 585 gallons that I just fueled up with 13.87 so 13.88 miles to the gallon now the difference I've been running 70 miles an hour on the interstate 40 from uh, uh, across Tennessee into Arkansas so we'll see what the next fuel up is and um, keep going at that speed and uh, we'll check back with you later okay second fill up for today it's about 10 o'clock in the evening in Shamrock Texas gone 409.2 miles Let's see if we can get a video of this um, it's filled up with 26.929 gallons at 2.799 per gallon. Let's see. All right. So if we take and put our mile again. Four hundred and nine miles. Let's see. Point two. Divide that by the gallons, 26.929 equals 15.195, so 15.20. So it looks like if I travel at 65 miles per hour and not 70, I can gain about two miles per gallon because what was it 13.88 so uh, interesting numbers uh, just changing your speed down five miles per hour so uh, I'll figure out what we're going to check next stand by currently in Las Cruz I guess I'm saying that right, New Mexico. Well, I happen to be in Deming, New Mexico. <clears throat> At the uh, Taco Bell. And uh, just filled up with diesel. We'll take a look at that uh, receipt and the mileage that I got on the trip from Scottsdale. So from Scottsdale to Deming, New Mexico. Let's see here. So I spent a couple days in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, running around, put about 80 miles on city miles, put in uh, 31.57, 31.57 31 gallons, went 443 miles since the last fuel up. There you see 14.034 miles to the gallon, what, and I'm headed towards Dallas. 
So what I'm going to do is go back stock. I'm going to pull pull the tunes just totally out of the truck and um, let me go ahead and get this this plugged in once again unplug the scan gauge I keep that on all the time and then uh, let's go through this together Turn the key on. Now we're going to do continue. Nice sunny day here in New Mexico. Yes, it's the 6.0 Super Duty. Next on that one, adjust engine options. <clears throat> We're going to restore default. Getting quite the reflection off of this. So on this uh, last tank of fuel city running and then running the interstate, uh, Interstate 10 from Scottsdale, Arizona, I did stop over in Mesa, Arizona at uh, Bulletproof Diesel. Uh, I'll share a picture or two with you from there before I got back on Interstate 10 and made it all the way here to Deming, D-E-M-I-N-G, New Mexico beautiful drive seeing all the sights Tune has been programmed successfully to your vehicle. Turn the key off. And we're done. So we'll check in after we run this fuel tank out. Uh, like I said, headed to Dallas, Texas. Stay tuned for more. Just to make sure I've done it right, I uh, returned to stock ran through the software one more time. Tune has programmed successfully. All right. 
stay tuned for more. Well, good morning. I made it to Midland, Texas and uh, buying some diesel here in Midland. What's interesting is uh, this says it contains up to 5% biodiesel. I'm not aware that I have run any biodiesel in this truck at all so far, but the uh, gas station is called Quick Track and uh, busy little part of town. So what we'll do is uh, check the fuel mileage on this and see how we did as far as the tune that's in it. It's stock tune. It's what come with the truck and and we'll check it out. Morning again from Midland, Texas and uh, interesting with the stock tune just what the vehicle come with. I traveled 412.2 miles just filled up with 25.167 gallons and I'm getting 16.38 miles per gallon that's with the stock tune that's just a stock truck without a putting a tuner on it and that's traveling interstate 10 into 20 across Texas and I just uh, filled up oh I was running 65 miles per hour cruise control set coming across Texas and getting this miles per gallon what I will probably do because the interstate is 80 miles per hour that I will go ahead and uh, crank it up cruise along at 70 miles an hour and then we'll we'll see what we can get thanks for staying tuned Just left uh, Midland, Texas and headed to Texarkana, Arkansas. Well, good morning back in Aaron. Last fill up, and that's where I started the whole trip. And uh, back to Wells Creek Market. Yeah, it's by Papa's Barbecue and the Aaron Elementary School. If we go back this way, it's uh, the co op is just getting started up. And then the old truck that, uh, well, when we left Pecos, Texas. Ended up uh, traveling about 1,200 miles yesterday. Got home about 1 o'clock this morning. And uh, right there, uh, getting close to 500 miles on the tank. So we're filling it up. Stay tuned for what we got for miles per gallon on the last leg of the journey. Okay, last fill up at uh, Wells Creek Market here in Erin. We put in... Uh, 33.630 gallons went 482 miles that gave us 14.332 miles per gallon and that's the stock tune that's made for this truck one thing that I noticed though running interstate and then coming back home I got off the interstate at the Buffalo exit and um, anyway it's very hilly, you know, a lot of peaks and valleys on the road, Highway 13 coming into home here. And what happened, uh, I, I notice, I like that performance tune better. It reels up the turbo better the, the as far as how the transmission shifts. So I'm going to put that tune back in for running around the city and here at home. But... Uh, Stay tuned. I will do a final wrap of the journey 
and my thoughts on the SCT tuner and certainly any comments that you have put uh, your remarks down below in the video also if you uh, don't mind those of you who have tuners go ahead and name who you have as far as uh, specialty tunes who you buy your specialty tunes for and any recommendations you have uh, for what I should try next so anyway, stay tuned and we'll do a final wrap. The final wrap up of this video, I appreciate everybody staying tuned, watching what uh, I experienced traveling across the country, getting the miles per gallon rating at different speeds. It, it does make sense to travel at 65 miles per hour instead of 70. Of course, I was not hauling or pulling a trailer with my truck. And all of that would change, of course, uh, as the previous videos, I can monitor with uh, my scan gauge to water temperature, oil temperature, transmission temperature, and then the max uh, tow gauge as far as the exhaust gas temperature, what's going on inside the exhaust manifold. And uh, I've yet to do a video on that, but I will show the installation, how I wired it in. Pretty neat products, what max tow has. And I believe what I'm going to do next is get another gauge from them that will show my fuel pressure. And of course, uh, it's important out there on these 6.0s, probably on all the diesels, make sure you change your oil at proper intervals as well as fuel filters. And of course, on this truck is uh, two different fuel filters. I've shown those before, but... Uh, you know, if you uh, use these big time, you know, it's a uh, towing, dusty working environments, you're going to want to change the, the, both the top and the fuel rail, uh, fuel filters at 10,000 miles, and then your oil at uh, 5,000 miles, except if it's, uh, on this trip, I'm going to change it at 7,500. Like I said, not hauling anything or, or towing anything. But uh, the wrap on this video, I need to ask a favor of you, those who's watching that has a tuner, who do you have as, as a supplier for uh, custom tunes that maybe will uh, be better than what's stock already on the SCT tuner for horsepower, for uh, performance, street use? Uh, just give your comments down below and uh, let us all here and uh, about what you've got going on with your truck and uh, interesting talking to a lot of folks the different things that they're doing the customization on on their engines diesel engines on uh, you, you know the EGR delete is a huge issue right now are, are we getting better mileage with or without it what what is the performance issues that we still have with uh, EPA telling us how to run these trucks um, are they better for the environment or they are they not you know with with EPA? It's it's anybody's guess but uh, Certainly, uh, I get home and the family's got the Christmas lights up. It is December 2019 looking forward to the year 2020 anyway, Merry Christmas Happy New Year and uh, Give us some uh, comments down below once again uh, If you appreciate this video, just go ahead share like and subscribe and uh, we'll keep them coming.